Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Melissa, and I'm always here on Mondays, Wednesdays, and Friday, and I talk about true crime. And I also do different topics. And on Fridays, I dedicate my channels to talk about missing children. If you like any of that, go ahead and subscribe, and also hit that bell so you can be notified every time I upload a new video. Um, I know I'm gonna try. I'm trying to do something different today. Um, lately, I have been getting headaches when I have the lights on. Um, I don't know. I don't know why I'm trying to figure it out, but um, if you if you this video seems a little bit darker than the others, I'm so sorry about that. I'm actually next to my window and I'm getting as much sunlight as I can. Like I said, for some reason I cannot my eyes start hurting as soon as my lights are on. So um, even with the glasses on, it's still not helping me. So that's why I am um, there's not a as much light light as usual in my other video so i really do apologize so today we're going to be talking about a death road inmate and also i will be doing a, another upload um just because it is women's history month so i wanted to do an upload and talk about some women that are latin and have changed the world and are very empowerment so i'll be doing that video as soon as as, as soon as this one so let me go ahead and start with my inspiration of the day and then we'll get to the story. I fell in love with you. And what I meant by you, I mean by who you are. I didn't fall in love with you because of your body or looks. I didn't fall in love with those. I fell in love with your voice, your laugh, who deserves more than the world. I love you. And that is my inspiration of the day. So like I said, today I will be talking about a death row inmate and we're going to be talking about Rosie Alfredo so let's go ahead and hear her story and how she ended up on death row Maria del Rossi or Rosie Alfredo is an American woman convicted of the 1990 murder of a nine-year-old Adam Wallace in Intention, California she's currently in California death row now in early life Alfredo was raised in Admina, California. She became a drug addicted at 13, a prostitute at 14, and single mother at 15. Mother to, to four children, murdered at 18. She has the authority of being the first or woman in Orange County, California to receive the death penalty at 20. On June 15, 1990, Autumn Wallace, born January 15, 1981, H9 was a home by herself in Ania, California. She was waiting for her older sister and mother to return home from work. Alfredo then knew that the Wallace family were very well and was friendly with one of the oldest daughter. She thought that they were out and that she would be able to steal items from the home to sell in order to purchase drugs. Adam opened the door to for Alfredo, her sister's friend, who asked to use the bathroom. She took her knife from the kitchen before pursuing to the bathroom located in the back of the house. She then cast Adams into the bathroom and roost and roost and stabbed her 50 times. Alfredo then rained the house for something to steal, possibly to acquire drug money. The stolen property was later sold for a hunt for 240. Alfredo confessed to the crime during a police tape interview, stating she was a high in, in, in on heroin and cocaine. Never proven since she was not arrested in the drug with the 40, 40, 36 to 48 hours of the murder. When she stabbed Autumn later, she changed her story and illegally undefined men forced her to stab the little girl. Still later, Alfredo told police the two men drove her to the Wallace home and one of the men entered the house and forced her to kill Autumn. She refused to define the man. The evidence from the crime scene only indicate that the members of the Wallace family and Alfredo based on her fingerprints and a mat matching bloodstained shoes print were present in the home that day. She was tried and convicted of first degree murder with the special consequences at the end of the penalty. Phrase of the trial, the jury deadlocked 10-2 on the sentence of death. The penalty phase of the trial was to declare a mistrial. A second jury returned in verdict of the death. The trial judge upheld the jury verdict and sentenced Alfredo to death. Alfredo was the first woman sentenced to death in the gas chamber and at the time of sentencing was the third woman in death row in California. In August 2009-2007, the California Supreme Court 
voted unanimously to uphold a Alfredo death sentence. And that is the story of Rocio Alfredo. I think she got the right crime. I think she should um, be on in the death in death row. Um, when it comes to death row, I really it depends. On, I always feel like it depends on the crime. And to me, is it you kill a child, no matter what age, or you killed an early person that cannot fight back, you deserve the the death penalty because you are taking some. I mean, I'm not saying them that you shouldn't be taking nobody's life but when it comes to two people a child and a person that cannot fight back why should you live why should you breathe the same air as everybody else you should die um so that's my thought on the death penalty a lot of people do not like it i like i said i don't like it but it just depends i don't like it but then i like it but it depends on the crime so yeah that is the story i'm sorry about this video being short but that is the story of um Rosie alfredo I'll be uh, uploading another video right after this one um, talk about the women. See y'all.